On today's episode, we will discover who can handle heat. Oh. Oh. Welcome to the SciShow. We are so glad that you're here. And today we have a very special guest. Oh yes, he is here. He is the man. He is the legend. He is the sage of Santa Rosa. Give it up for Scott Peterson. Peterson, Peterson, Peterson. Here he is. Hey everybody, how are you? Scott. I'm really excited to be here today. Yes, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Well, my name is Scott, but you already figured that one out, right? Yeah. And I am the kids pastor in Santa Rosa, and I just love it there. That's awesome. And Scott is here today to talk about his tongue. It, tongue? What? Yeah. His tongue? His tongue. Show us what a fine specimen of a tongue you have, oh. Scott. I do not need to see that. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> yeah, so today we're talking about tongues. Ew, tongues? Yeah, yeah, James talks about tongues. No, I know, I know he likes to talk about tongues. No, Ooh. James from the Bible, the half-brother of Jesus, he talks about tongues. Mm. Oh, that James, got it, from the Bible. Tell us, what does James say? Actually, in James chapter 3, starting at verse 5, it says, It's the same with the tongue. It's a small part of the body, but it brags about doing great things. A big forest fire can be started with only a little flame. And the tongue is like a fire. It's a whole world of evil among the parts of our bodies. The tongue spreads its evil through the whole body. It starts a fire that influences all of life. People can tame every kind of wild animal, bird, reptile, and fish, and they have tamed them. But no one can tame the tongue. It is wild and evil, and it has poison that can kill. Whoa. What? So that's really telling us that we have to tame the tongue somehow. How do we tame a tongue? Well, that's when we have to ask God to help us control ourselves. <laughs> James, I don't think that is what, what... Oh, turn my tongue. I really don't think that is what the Bible is telling us to do. Huh? Oh. Uh, Scott, will you tell James the Bible is not literally saying go and lock up your tongue? Hmm? Okay. In verse 5, it talks about how the tongue is like a fire and how it can start a forest fire. And three years ago in Santa Rosa, where I'm from, a fire started a long way away in the middle of the night. And it was very windy that night. We got a knock on our door at 1 in the morning. We woke up and the fire was right there. It was really loud. It was really scary. There were lots of explosions and we had to get out of our house as fast as we could. And all we were able to take with us were our phones, our cat, and the clothes we were wearing. That's why I'm wearing the Smokey the Bear shirt today, because that fire started with a tiny little spark and it came into our town and it burned down 5,000 houses. Oh. That's how dangerous fire is and it can spread really, really fast. So that's why in God's word, it talks about the tongue and saying bad things can spread all over the place just like a fire. Wow. I get it now. So it's not actually taming your actual tongue, it's actually controlling the words that you say because mm -hmm. they can be very hurtful. So that reminds me of a verse in Proverbs, Proverbs 29, 11, and it says this, a foolish person loses his temper, but a wise person controls his anger. How hard is it for us to sometimes control our anger and control our tongue? And when we do, maybe we won't start these bad fires in our lives. That is so good. I think it's time to have a talk time. Talk time one. How can our tongues be like a dangerous wildfire? What can we do to control what we say? Hey, 
Hey, you know what? That was a great discussion, everybody. Can I pray for you? Dear Jesus, please be with us and help us to choose wise, kind words to say to people instead of mean, nasty, ugly things because sometimes those can spread around like a bad fire. So help us this week be an encouragement to our family and our friends. In your name we pray, amen. 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 Okay, it's challenge time. So Scott, every week we have a challenge. You can join our challenge today. And, and so it's gonna be hot or cool. So we're gonna spin the wheel my favourite wheel. If it lands on cool, you get to eat something cool from the cool bucket. If it's hot, you eat something hot. And there's also points for every time you spin. So, mm. Catherine, are you looking forward to eating something hot or cool? Well, it is like almost 100 degrees here, so I would like my tongue to touch something cold. Is cool. Oh! 150 points. Right, what are you going to choose? Be keeping Score. Okay. Uh, I would like to choose the ice cream. All right, she's got the ice cream, Scott. Okay, right. spin away, ice Scott. Cream. Yeah. Right, here we go. Give it a good spin. Cool. Oh, nice, man. Oh. Okay. I would like a popsicle. Oh, very nice. All right, I get, a, I get a spin. It. Yeah, ice lolly eating. Okay, here we go. It's going to be as cool, obviously. Oh, hot, five points. Ooh, All right, I'm going to go for Ooh. hot tamales. Here we go. Oh, oh boy. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Talk like that. I like oh, cool. 50 points. 50 points. 50 points. Oh. I would like, what is this? I think I've never had one of these. A Kool-Aid. Kool I could really do that now. Oh, I remember these from the early days. Alrighty. Oh, me? Oh. Yes, your turn, right. Scott. Mm. Oh, look at that. Wow, he got a cool, hundred again. points. You know what? Oh. I want mints. Cool mints. Cool mints. All right. I really need something cool out of these tamales. This is disgusting. Here we go. Mm. No! <laughs> Flaming hot Cheetos. Hot again. Or oh, hot chili. Okay. Mm. Oh. Oh, we can smell it again. Oh, my eyes. Oh. 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 Well, we'll just keep going now. Okay, well, for sure, I got way more points. And I think actually Scott won. So, oh, Scott. My. Thank you so much for oh, joining our show today. It was and, so fun to be here. Oh my goodness, we hope to see you guys soon. And uh, James, uh, here, are, James, are you going to be okay? Oh look, you got cool. There you go. <laughs> Poor James. I know. While James's tongue is cooling off with an ice lolly, I would love to tell you guys about the coolest thing that is happening this summer. Now, Breakaway Kids Camp is coming to your home, and I just got the exclusive look at this beautiful box that will come directly to your house if you guys order one now. Here you go. You ready? You ready for an unboxing, everybody? What is in there? Come on. how big this box is. Ooh, look at all the beautiful things inside. You can make your own tie-dye t-shirt. Oh, I know James would like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is Freshy. a boomer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. You get your own breakaway wow. box. You guys, this is the coolest thing ever. Our very own breakaway board game. Oh, you can who? play on wow. your own, or you can get your entire neighborhood and keep playing it over and over again. Catherine, who designed, who designed that I game? I don't know, someone really, really smart designed this breakaway <laughs> game. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I thought you said you did it. <laughs> All right. And every day includes crafts and um, amazing activities. So make sure you guys sign up. BreakawayKidsCamps.com. And the cool thing I hear, there's a feature film. What? Watch. Oh. It's oh. going to be amazing. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the Sideshow. I've cooled down a bit now. Get that breakaway box. Scott, have you had fun on the breakaway? On the breakaway? This has on the been side a show? blast. Excellent. Thanks for coming with us. Thanks for inviting me. See you next week, guys. God Woo! bless. Cheers.